Dinosaur on the southern elevation here now. We've got a boundary joist at this end of the building, um, fairly close to being hard down on the concrete block foundation wall. And as we slowly move up the length of this building, you'll see the packer below that boundary joist increase in size. Um, there's a level of just set up here. It's uh, nearly half a bubble out. It's just under two percent that that block work has been laid out of level which is quite a bit because as you can see that packer now has really started to increase in size and we're looking um, at this end of the building it's about 290 millimeters so um, yeah nearly 300 millimeters out along the length of the building there that block work has been built out of level quite a big slope and I've got to ask the question here how is the brick layer going to lay his bricks on that so we're on the other side of the building now and this uh, boundary joist is about 30 millimeters above the concrete block foundation wall at one end and again the packer starts getting bigger as we move further up the building um, you can see the bone back brackets they've used to try and strap the boundary joist down to the wall plate um, and at this end it's 290 millimeters as well so you've got to ask yourself those BOMAC brackets trying to strap the whole thing down onto that wall plate when we've seen underneath that wall plate isn't even fixed to the block work anyway so they're pretty useless